How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today's going to be a movie collection video. And this is going to be on the latest uh, Spider-Man uh, Sony-verse uh, film, which is Morbius. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have the regular 4K Blu-ray edition. And this has a really nice lenticular... Uh, I would love to see more editions like this. Uh, yeah, it's just a regular one. Uh, Shazam, I know, did this for their uh, regular Blu-ray edition. But yeah, it is really cool. So there he is. It's kind of normal. And then we turn it. He's in this alternate form. Yeah, look at that. That is really cool. A new Marvel Legend Arise. 4K Blu-ray Digital. Okay, here's the spine. Picture on the top. And here is the back. Here's the story details. And you have uh, a nice collage, a bunch of characters. There he is, and there's his alternate kind of look. Uh, special features, uh, you have outtakes and bloopers, lights, camera, action, defining the anti-hero, the good, bad, and ugly, supporting cast, doing the stunt work, nocturnal easter eggs, from human to vampire, visual effects, and more. Uh, definitely go through the special features. Uh, I thought they were uh, pretty good, pretty interesting. And on the bottom, uh, regions are A, B, and C. Okay, and then let's go ahead and take this out. And then there's the regular a picture. I think this is the one they use for the uh, basic Blu-ray edition. Yeah. And there's a case. The regular case is fine. And then here's the back. A little bit different. It's more of the wording. The story details. Okay. And on the left, you have the uh, regular Blu-ray, which is also really good. And then you have the 4K, which is even better. Excellent. There they are. Yeah, very nice pictures. And there are a bunch of different editions <laughs> for Morbius. Uh, I'll get into that in a little bit. So that is the regular uh, 4K version of Morbius. Uh, sorry, Jared Leto. Uh, I thought this was okay. Thought it was all right. Uh, there's definitely some things where you're like, what? <laughs> like that. Uh, I thought for what they did, it's fine. Uh, it's very... Very intriguing that they uh, decided to do a Morbius film. Uh, yeah, they're kind of building their own kind of, you know, universe thing. And uh, yeah, let me know what did you guys uh, think of uh, this film. And then we have the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. Uh, this one I pre-ordered and there was like a little bit of a delay. Uh, but when it did ship, it was like literally the next day. Uh, I think they overnighted it, so, uh, yeah, I heard other people had that same kind of, uh, issue, but, uh, hopefully, you know, they got theirs as well, and this is really nice, and let me show you guys the backing real quick, it's the bottom, here's the top, and I'll show you guys what it looks like, there was no glue or anything, just kind of sits there, that's what it looks like, with it on. Okay, and then here, easy back, let it clear up, that's better. So all the same, special features, and all that stuff, all the same, regions. Okay, and this is part of, here's a little plastic, uh, the Best Buy uh, Project Pop Art Limited Edition Steelbook. So, yeah, Pop Art is still around, because I did get a question or a comment asking if uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife might get a pop art still, but uh, they are still around, so hopefully they will. Or hopefully it will, and because that'll match with the other films. <laughs> All right, so here's the front. And this has a uh, rough uh, matte kind of finish. I uh, love this artwork. Really cool. Uh, this one, the title is more towards the bottom. I noticed some movies are starting to do that, yeah, where it's not in, like, the center. <laughs> uh, but that's cool. Yeah, don't mind that. And then here's the back. 
And then let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so I'll give you guys a closer shot of the uh, disc here. Uh, scene 2, Blu-ray, and uh, 4K. It is right there. All the characters. Actors and actresses. And then here is 4K disc. And you do have a picture on the inside. It's kind of dark, so... Uh, there he is, like when he changes into his vampire form. Over here it's all blank, but yeah, it's looking kind of menacing there. And then here is the front and back together, which is all connected. Look at that. That is beautiful. Really, really cool. This reminds me of the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming uh, steelbook. It has that matte rough kind of finish and it all lines together. That is awesome. Really cool. So, other editions. Okay, so you have a regular uh, Blu-ray. Uh, you have a 4K. There's also, uh, so you have the 4K with the uh, lenticular. Oh, so the Steelbook. Uh, I did not see this in store. Uh, the two Best Buys that I went to, uh, well, one um, was closer nearby because I wanted to get like Bell and other stuff that was out. Uh, I didn't see it in store. So I'm not sure if it was like an online only, but I've seen other uh, people that go Blu-ray hunting and they happen to see it in store. So uh, you might have to kind of shop around. Uh, not sure if it's still in stock. Uh, so definitely check online and stuff, but do be careful of uh, you know pricing if you go on like eBay or something. Uh, but still, this is a really nice edition. So you have the Best Buy Steelbook. You have the 4K with the lenticular, regular Blu-ray. There's also a Target exclusive edition, which comes with the, uh, it's like uh, Spider-Man um, uh, No Way Home with the fan art cards that kind of line up. It shows you like the progression as to how they got the picture. Uh, it actually looks really nice, so I think I might go get that one as well. Because uh, a couple of the Targets that are nearby, they still have them in stock. Uh, you also have a Walmart exclusive which has a numbered pen, if I remember correctly, yeah. And then, as far as I know, that's about it. Yeah, there's like four or five different versions <laughs> of Morbius that you can get. Uh, they all do look really cool, though. Uh, so, you know, kind of take your pick, see which one uh, is your favorite. And actually, yeah, which one is your favorite out of all the different editions? And yeah, these are the two I decided to get. Uh, love the fact that the 4K just basic has a lenticular definitely want to see more of that uh and the steelbook just looks incredible look at that picture that that's just awesome and uh quality wise uh, the film looks and sounds uh pretty good um the you know story i thought was okay but yeah there's definitely some things there kind of like okay well how did that work <laughs> uh and also what do you guys think of the whole you know, Spider-Man, uh, Sony-verse kind of thing, or I guess Spider-Verse. Uh, oh, by the way, I think the second one of that is still coming out, as far as I know. Uh, Jared Leto as Morbius, you know, I thought he was okay. Uh, thought he was fine. And, uh, also the rest of the cast, I thought was okay. Uh, music, uh, was good. Uh, visuals, definitely have some kind of odd shots there, <laughs> here and there. Uh, but I think when he turns into his vampire form, I think he looks looks pretty good. And, uh, yeah, uh, feel free to let me know. What did you guys think of uh, Morbius? And uh, with that, I'll see you guys next time.